There were two reasons I was scared to let people in. The damage they could do, and the damage they could find. There's a relief to giving in to destruction. I did not like to be touched, but it was a strange dislike. I did not like to be touched because I craved it too much. I wanted to be held very tight so I would not break. Tell me, Father, which to ask forgiveness for? What I am or what I am not? Tell me, Mother, which should I regret? What I became or what I didn't? When you were born in a burning house, you think the whole world is on fire. I have heard it is said that love turns people soft, but I have never been more brutal. I hope my last breath is a sigh of relief. Two-headed calf by Laura Gilpin. Tomorrow when the farm boys find this freak of nature, they will wrap his body in the newspaper and carry him to the museum. But tonight, he is alive and in the north field with his mother. It is a perfect summer evening. The moon rising over the orchard, the wind in the grass. And as he stares into the sky, there are twice as many stars as usual. No matter how good you are with words, it's inevitable that the meaning is lost between your mind and someone else's. Trying to communicate is like throwing a cup of water at a thirsty person's face. It's better than nothing, sure, and a teaspoon of water might hit their lips. But oh God, there's just so much water in the grass. And when I turned to face grief, I saw that it was just love in a heavy coat. I was always ashamed to take, so I gave. It was not a virtue. It was a disguise. Abuse can feel like love. I blinked, a voice so close that my ears tingled. Slowly, I raised my eyes to look at the side of Damon Torrance's face. His shirt wrinkled, and his tie draped around his neck. The whole class fell silent, and I glanced at Will next to me, seeing his eyebrows pinch together as he looked at the back of his friend's head. Mr. Townsend approached. Abuse can feel like love, he repeated. Why? Damon remained so still it didn't look like he was breathing. He looked at the teacher, unwavering. Starving people will eat anything. My legs creak under the weight, and the weight of my parents, and their parents, and their parents. Brooklyn's too cold tonight, and all my friends are three years away. My mother said I could be anything I wanted, but I decided to live. Someone has to leave first. This is a very old story, and there is no other version of this story. All our humiliations come from the fact that we cannot bring ourselves to die of hunger. To be a kid requires difficult detective work. You have to piece together the entire universe from scratch. Everyone forgets that Icarus also flew. It's the same when love comes to an end, or the marriage fails, and people say they knew it was a mistake, that everybody said it would never work, that she was old enough to know better. But anything worth doing is worth doing badly, like being there by that summer ocean on the other side of the island while love was fading out of her, the stars burning so extravagantly those nights that anyone could tell you they would never last. Every morning she was asleep in my bed like a visitation, a gentleness in her like an antelope standing in the dawn mist. Each afternoon I watched her coming back through the hot stony field after swimming, the sea light behind her and the huge sky on the other side of that. How can they say the marriage failed? 
Like the people who came back from province, when it was still province, and said it was pretty but the food was greasy. I believe Icarus was not failing as he fell, but just coming to the end of his triumph. August 2nd, something wants to be said, but the words don't agree. And Abraham said, this is how much I love you. And he measured Isaac from ankle to scalp. Love will cut you and then ask you to carry on singing. I hope death is like being carried to your bedroom when you were a child and fell asleep on the couch during a family party. I hope you can hear laughter from the next room. What is love if not waiting to be seen? Before my grandfather died, I asked him what sort of horse he had grown up. He said, just a horse. My horse. With such a tenderness, it rubbed the bones and the ribs all wrong. I have always been too sensitive. A weeper. From a long line of weepers. I am the hurting kind. I am always trying to convey something that cannot be conveyed. To explain something which is inexplainable. To tell about something I have in my bones. Something which can be expressed only in the bones. The San Francisco therapist kept telling me I shouldn't be terrified of creative experimentation. I don't know what's going to come out of me, I told her. It has to be perfect. It has to be irreproachable in every way. Why, she said. To make up for it, I said make up for the fact that it's me. When someone dies, their silence becomes a sort of held note. The key on the piano pressed down for so long it becomes an ache in the ear. A new sonic register from which we start to measure our new ruptured lives. A white noise. Maybe this is why there's so much music in dying. The funerals. The singing. The hymns, the eulogies, all those sounds crowding the air with what the dead can't say. When you have wanted to be wanted all your life, and then somebody wants you, it feels like cheating. It feels like eating something you are not supposed to eat, and you eat it too quickly, always afraid of your lover walking in and seeing it smeared all over your face. Red, the damning evidence of your hunger to be wanted. And nobody wants to love somebody too desperate to be loved. So you do your best not to be desperate. You walk in the harsh January sun with your hands freezing in your pockets and try to look like someone who doesn't want anything too much. Here's the thing. You want everything so much that you're like a ravine in the shape of a woman taking in anything that seems like it could be love. Do you still believe myths can save you? Foolish creature. Let me be clear. Every version of this story ends with you being slaughtered. To love someone is firstly to confess. I'm prepared to be devastated by you. are silent about your pain, they'll kill you and say you enjoyed it. The sea speaks more honestly to those willing to drown. Sometimes being offered tenderness feels like the very proof that you've been ruined. The soul is and becomes what it remembers. Language transcends us, and yet we speak. Nothing ever ends poetically. It ends and we turn it into poetry. All that blood was never once beautiful. 
It was always just red. I said to the sun, tell me about the Big Bang. And the sun said, it hurts to be calm. Just because you can carry it well, doesn't mean it isn't heavy. I want to tell you this story without having to confess anything. I want to tell you the story without having to be in it. You think attention is love, and that is why you suffer so deeply. Grief is an amputation, but hope is incurable hemophilia. You bleed and bleed and bleed. I sat with my anger long enough until she told me her real name was Grief. In his tent, Achilles grieved with his whole being, and the gods saw he was a man already dead, a victim of the part that loved, the part of him that was mortal. Men spoke of how the heart broke up, but never spoke of how the soul hung speechless in the pause. Is it better to outmonster the monster or to be quietly devoured? Misery won't touch you gently, it always leaves its thumbprints. Guilt is a woman and she's walking on her knees. Grief is a woman too, but all she does is sleep.